As I'm sure just about all of you saw, just yesterday we heard how Microsoft is planning to buy ZeniMax and Bethesda and all of its subsidiaries, including Bethesda Game Studios and the IP of Fallout. It seems like after that initial shock and amazement at a gaming deal this large actually happening, the community collectively had the wheels turning in their head like, wait, so this means Obsidian, Bethesda, and the Fallout IP are all owned by the same person. And immediately we started seeing speculation and rumors that a Fallout New Vegas 2 or really just some kind of Fallout spin-off by Obsidian could be a possibility. This has been something people talk about basically on a weekly basis for the past 10 years, ever since that initial release of Fallout New Vegas. But in this video, I do want to break down a couple of things. Some misconceptions around the deal overall, some facts we know already that you probably didn't hear about and I've seen almost nobody talking about, and really just gauge the possibility of a Fallout spin-off by Obsidian, or even just a New Vegas 2. As they've actually laid out some plans they would have for such a game or title, and I think when you actually look at the overall layout of Microsoft, Bethesda, and Obsidian, it does paint a pretty clear picture. If you guys want to stay up to date with Fallout or even Fallout New Vegas and its mods, you can get subscribed. In the next couple of days, I will have a video looking at some of the most recent and good mod releases for New Vegas because, yes, that is still an active scene. But first, let's take a closer look at this Microsoft Bethesda acquisition. So, of course, again, immediately we saw a ton of articles and community discussion about the likelihood of a Fallout New Vegas 2 were really just a spin-off in general from Obsidian. New Vegas 2 being the catchy headline, but I think a lot of people are referring to a Fallout game in general by this company. Which of course, if you don't know, Obsidian made Fallout New Vegas, which for many fans is their all-time favorite Fallout game. But this was a deal where Bethesda licensed the Fallout franchise to Obsidian because Bethesda owns it, but now Microsoft owns it, and Microsoft recently purchased Obsidian back in 2018, and of course is now in the process of purchasing Bethesda. One of the things that gave this a lot of fuel and definitely drove the conversation forward was this tweet from Obsidian that I'm sure you saw. Just a simple shrug around somebody inquiring around a new Fallout game from them, but this actually ended up being their most liked tweet of all time at this point, and it's still getting quite a bit of attention. Even getting a retweet from Major Nelson, one of the high offs at Microsoft. We even saw a couple of Fallout themed profile pictures from people at Microsoft, which seemed to fuel this even a bit more, that perhaps even a New Vegas 2 is already in development. Immediately from from there, many started to point to a recent tweet by Josh Sawyer. This was actually the original director on Fallout New Vegas at Obsidian, and just a month ago he tweeted out how he was directing a new project now and it wasn't avowed, the known AAA RPG coming from Obsidian, so seemingly he was working on something else. And then his news broke that this deal between Microsoft and Xbox actually has been in the work for two years, people began to discuss the possibility of Josh Sawyer already working on New Vegas 2, especially considering this deal could have been more so finalized in the past. Maybe we only saw it get announced yesterday because it was the day before Xbox pre-orders went live. But unfortunately, we're going to have to pump the brakes on a couple of things. That was all the very hopeful speculation, but there's a few things we already know that definitely put some of that off the table. Right off the bat, something I haven't seen anyone actually talk about, Josh Sawyer did a live stream last night, and literally just in the first couple of minutes of that live stream, he says this. Questions about New Vegas 2, yeah? Yep. Um... I don't have many questions. I have one question that keeps being asked over and over again, which is if Obsidian is doing Fallout New Vegas 2. No. Or if we might. I don't know. So. So of course he isn't actually working on New Vegas 2, there's some other secret project at Obsidian that he is leading. And before you all go to a stream and try and find out other details, that was the only point during that particular stream where he mentioned New Vegas 2. I listened to the whole thing. But the other really important clarification here is Microsoft doesn't own Bethesda, at least yet. I'm sure a lot of people are kind of aware of this fact, but maybe downplaying it a bit. We saw in the press release how more or less it seems like both Bethesda and Bethesda's board and Microsoft and Microsoft's board have agreed to the deal but they're still waiting on regulatory committees to actually approve this deal. So you're dealing with the government now. It's one of those things that could take a couple of months. We could have this finalized in January, February, or as Microsoft says in their press release, it could take to the middle of 2021. So as of right now, these are two separate companies. Microsoft does not own the rights to Fallout, so they couldn't have Obsidian working on Fallout months ago because Bethesda still owns the rights to Fallout. Now, that's not to say this isn't going to get approved. It's just worth noting that it hasn't technically happened yet. 
it's going to take a bit of time for it to be finalized. We just saw the announcement and all the PR around it yesterday. But that doesn't mean that there still isn't hope for a New Vegas 2 or some other spinoff from Obsidian. And one of the big reasons for this, or at least the incentive for this, is one, Microsoft just paid $7.5 billion for Bethesda, but also for Bethesda's IPs, the most valuable of which seem to be Fallout, The Elder Scrolls, and Doom. We know on the horizon there's going to be a new Elder Scrolls game, we know on the horizon there's likely a new Doom game, at least based on some statements, but Fallout games don't really have anything on the horizon. And as I've mentioned in some past videos, Bethesda Game Studios right now almost has an issue with Fallout 5 in that it's kind of far away, no matter which way you shake things. We know their next game is Starfield. Reportedly, Bethesda was actually shopping around Starfield exclusivity, or at least PlayStation was bidding on Starfield exclusivity, so it seems fairly likely that Holiday 2021 is a decent release date for Starfield, November like Bethesda likes. So then two to three years down the line, we get the Elder Scrolls 6, then potentially two to three years after that, we could get a Fallout 5, but one of the big issues with that, or at least I see with that, after all this time, Bethesda finally starts work on a new IP with Starfield, then they're just going to abandon it for six, seven, eight years while they work on other older IPs. To me, the order that seems a lot more likely could be Starfield, The Elder Scrolls 6, then Starfield 2, especially if Starfield 1's a big success. It seemed weird to just make a new IP, then not do anything for eight, nine years and make a couple of other games. But either way, if Bethesda Game Studios is making a new Fallout game, it is at least seven, eight years away considering development time for the two other games. And then when you take into account that Microsoft bought Bethesda for $7.5 and Fallout is likely their single most valuable IP, or at least arguably based on the sales of the past two games, it would be really weird to acquire this company and not use literally their most valuable asset for eight years. Conversely, as you switch over to the Obsidian side, what you know is their timeline right now is just Avowed on the horizon. Technically another Outer Worlds DLC, but that's a separate team. Avowed is expected to either be late 2021, but more likely 2022, and then after that, we don't know what Obsidian's working on. And when you have a tweet getting this much attention, one of the most liked tweets just overall with this news yesterday, and just this overall fan sentiment for Obsidian to return to Fallout, and then you have Fallout from Bethesda on the back burner after you just bought Bethesda, Microsoft has to be paying attention to this. And I think these tweets from Obsidian yesterday do actually say something. Obsidian may not even known that Bethesda was getting acquired by Microsoft. Considering the fact that it never leaked, it definitely seems like it was known by only a few people. But we do know, at least as of 2017, the CEO of Obsidian said he wants to work on another Fallout game. And this tweet is likely more of that, more posturing to suggest that yes, they do actually want to work on a new Fallout game. In the past, one of the major reasons we haven't seen a new Fallout from Obsidian is large in part due to the Bethesda's reluctance. When asked about another Obsidian spin-off in 2018, Todd Howard said, Now that the company is so big, it's always better to keep stuff internal. It becomes less likely, but I could never say never. I thought the Obsidian guys did a fabulous job. Conversely, when the CEO of Obsidian was asked, what games from your past would you like to revisit? His answer was, um, a part of me, I would say I'd have to do another Fallout, but I kind of want to come up with a better answer than that. And in the past, Obsidian's even taking things a bit further. Even though, of course, they were only licensed for Fallout New Vegas, and there was that whole controversy and somewhat back and forth between Bethesda and Obsidian with the whole Metacritic bonus issue, Obsidian actually published some plans as to what a Fallout New Vegas 2 from them could entail. Although, do note, this is all the way back from 2013, so it's pretty dated now. He mentions how if they were to do a New Vegas 2 or just a new Fallout, they would keep it on the West Coast. Bethesda makes Fallouts on the East Coast, Obsidian would make Fallouts on the West Coast. He mentions how he'd need a confined area, so perhaps LA, a Fallout LA, or return to the Boneyard, a location from Fallout 1, would be a bit different, almost like the Walking Dead meets Fallout because of all of the radiation in the Boneyard. And to an extent, Sawyer himself actually echoed this back in 2017 and mentioning how if I got another chance, it would be really cool to work on Fallout. But then going on to mention how it's not really their license, so he doesn't think about it too much, and the likelihood seemed really low then. And to me, just overall, it seems fairly likely. Microsoft's going to want to monetize this IP, and it doesn't really seem like Bethesda has an avenue to in the near future. They, of course, do have Fallout 76, but short of any massive relaunch or a huge reinvestment in that game, I don't see it ever doing the same numbers that a Fallout 5 would, or even just a Fallout 4, making $750 million in revenue in one day. And if anything, Microsoft has even commented on moving away from games as a service. They don't have a huge portfolio of games like that. That's not to say Fallout 76 couldn't get some upgrades, but I just don't imagine it's ever going to be on the scale of another Fallout spinoff or a Fallout 5 down the line. Which, speaking of, these aren't the only options. A new Fallout spinoff would be the big choice and probably the most fan favorite 
favorite choice, but even other things like remasters or even just remakes could be a cool possibility with this Microsoft acquisition. Taking some of those fan favorite Fallout or Elder Scrolls games and porting them to the modern engine, giving them some of that next gen or future engine capabilities, and apparently there's going to be some serious engine upgrades with Starfield, and this would be another way for Microsoft to keep the franchise active. Microsoft has definitely been a company to remaster some of their franchises, so it's not something they're going to shy away from. The person who does seem to shy away from it is Todd Howard, but again, it's not totally clear how things will change with this new dynamic of Microsoft ownership. Simply put, looking at the landscape right now, it would seem insane to me for Microsoft to not take advantage of the Fallout IP or even just leaving it to Bethesda Game Studios. Bethesda Game Studios is going to be busy for the foreseeable future. At least the past five years of development are large in part accounted for between Starfield and eventually the Elder Scrolls 6. So to me at least, something happening with the Fallout IP definitely seems likely. And Obsidian is that top tier choice as Microsoft now owns both of them or will own both of them in the future. And that is important to remember, nothing will likely happen for at least a little bit down the road, but who knows, maybe seven months down the line, I'll be making speculation videos about Obsidian having some pretty interesting new job hirings. I did that several months before Avowed and that's looking like a massive project. Either way, as always again, I thank you all for watching. Hopefully you found this video informative. Hopefully it clarified a few things around the possibility of a new Vegas 2. With all that said, I hope to see you all next time. Later.